family brings a child to the doctor, they might be concerned about a broken arm or a sore throat. However, in many cases, there are other challenges facing the family as well. Having a positive health outcome can be attributed about 20% to what happens in this room. Another 20% can be attributed to genetics. But 60% of a child's health outcomes have to do with social, environmental, and behavioral factors. The social determinants of health we see every day in our patient population are poverty, lack of education, unsafe neighborhood, unsafe homes, food insecurity. Uh, these are barriers to obtaining an optimal health and well-being. So it became clear to us at Dayton Children's that a family might need more than a visit to a pediatrician. Our families need to be wrapped in the care of an entire community. Did school start already for you? Did you go to school today? That is why Dayton Children's is going above and beyond to connect our families to community resources to ensure that every child grows up healthy and strong. So the physician is entrusted by the family to provide overall health and well-being. So the physician is, uh, is in a great position uh, to address the social needs of the family. When a family identifies a social need during a visit with a pediatrician, the doctor can refer them here to the Dayton Children's Family Resource Connection. Thank you for calling in the Family Resource Connection Center. This is Jules speaking. We developed this program with Health Leads, an organization that's helped hospitals and clinics address patients' unmet social needs for 20 years. The Health Leads team provided us with tools, training, and best practices and worked with us to tailor the program specifically to our patients and clinics. The program is staffed with local workers who know the area and know the services that are available to our families. We have student advocates from five different universities and um, they're of all different backgrounds uh, from what they're studying from social work to pre-med to physiology. Sometimes a family may say that they need help getting food, they may need help with um, things like baby supplies or back to school supplies and that's where we can help out. Oh, hi, Kimberly. Okay, I'd be happy to help you. Um, we get that reaction where the family says that they've tried and they tried so many times and they're almost at um, wit's end at some point um, when I talk to them. And so it's really um, rewarding when you can be that um, student that's able to help them when they feel like there's no other options. So, okay, they can get homework assistance. Mm -hmm. it, it does offer a great support to the families to be able to have someone who can help them through the process and to understand it better. There may be different times of the day or different days of the week that um, it's better to call than others. At Dayton Children's, we are going above and beyond for our families, moving beyond the hospital walls to ensure that children have the best place to live, learn, and grow. <laughs>